Good morning and thank all of you for coming to Stratford STEM Magnet School. It is always a pleasure to host visitors and it is an honor to have our Mayor, the Honorable Megan Barry and Secretary Castro with us today. I would also like to thank our Director of Schools, Mr. Chris Henson and Chief Executive Officer for the Martha O'Brien Center, Marcia Edwards, for being here with us today. Secretary Castro, on behalf of the East Nashville community, the best teachers in Tennessee and the most amazing students in the country, it is an honor to have you here today. Thank you for choosing our school for this very important conversation. The challenges that our students have to overcome are many, but they rise to the occasion every day. At Stratford, our students are using advanced technology and learning incredible skills in science, technology, engineering, and math, yet many of them do not have internet access at home. And as you know, this is a significant game changer in their lives. Providing access to the internet opens up a new vision and multitude of opportunities for our students and their families. Under the exceptional leadership of Nashville's first female mayor, Megan Barry, uh, she is determined to lead the way in increasing access and bridging the digital divide. Mayor Barry has been a consistent advocate for our students inside and outside the classroom. We thank for her for her leadership both on the council and now in the mayor's office, and we are proud to have her as our uh, mayor and have her here at Stratford today. So it was a great pleasure. I welcome uh, Mayor Barry to Stratford High School. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Principal Steele. It's great to be here with all of you. And Secretary, welcome to Nashville. We're incredibly excited that you have chosen Stratford to come and have this very important conversation today. Uh, we're also very grateful to HUD uh, that you all chose Nashville for the Connect Home. We know that the digital divide exists and we know that with that digital divide comes a lack of opportunity. It means you don't have access to jobs, careers, uh, you don't have access to the democratic process. Uh, something that we all care deeply about. So we're excited that you're here today to talk and lead this conversation. And uh, my job today is really just to welcome you. So welcome and thanks again, Principal Steele. All right. Uh, first of all, thank you, Principal Steele, for having us here at Stratford. Uh, thank you, Mayor Barry. Uh, congratulations on thank being you. the mayor. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> and the great work that you're doing. It's great to be here in Nashville, Tennessee. That, that deserves a round of applause. Come on, y'all. <laughs> So I have to tell you, I'm Julian Castro. I'm the Secretary of uh, Housing and Urban Development, HUD. And I, I have been there about 16 months in DC. And I always go around telling people that my two pet peeves about DC are that you can't get good iced tea and that you can't get good barbecue. Because I'm from <laughs> Texas originally. So I'm going to have a chance to have barbecue somewhere today. Where, where should I have it in Nashville? Uh, Journeys? Or Martins. 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 All right, all right. Well, thank you all so much for hosting us here in Nashville. Um, I want to take a moment to, to also recognize and thank a few other folks who have been instrumental in launching this Connect Home initiative, which is the reason that we're here today. Um, one of them is uh, Chris Henson, the director of Metro Nashville Public Schools. Where's Chris? Yeah. Thank you, Chris. I uh, also want to give a shout out to Jim Harbison, the Executive Director of Nashville's Metropolitan Development and Housing Agency. Thank you, Jim. And uh, Marsha Edwards, our, Marcia, our Executive Director of the Martha O'Brien Center here. Um, you know, uh, just a very, very quick story. Um, I have a twin brother, Joaquin. Joaquin tells people that the way to tell us apart is that I'm a minute uglier than he is. Uh, I'm actually a minute older, <laughs> but you know how that goes with brothers or sisters. We grew up in the public schools of San Antonio um, with my mother and our grandmother. Uh, and I remember that the first day that we got to college, we went away from home um, and we got to the dorm that we were going to live in. And every dorm, at Stanford had a computer room. Uh, and we got to the computer room and went to one of the computers and it was already on. And um, my brother and I were there and he was sitting down at the computer in front of it. It was a desktop computer. And he started trying to figure out, you know, we were figuring out how to use it. And we didn't <coughs> know how to use a mouse. You know, the mouse that you move. So my brother picked it up and he started rolling the ball like <laughs> upside down to try and move the cursor on the screen. And I'm always reminded of that because it was a funny moment in my life. But also because, and you all know better than I do these days, the fact is that the access that our young people have to technology 
and to broadband and the internet is so important to ensuring that they get a great educational experience and that they're able to compete in this 21st century global economy. And we're here today because we're proud that Nashville is part of this Connect Home initiative to connect communities in 27 cities and one tribal community to the internet and make sure that, that you have the 21st century tools of knowledge so that you can go as far as your dreams and your hard work will take you. Um, let me also just ask folks, what do folks want to be? Like, what do you want to be? I have two goals in life. Um, what I want to be, my first thing is becoming a graphic designer. Um, mm -hmm. For that goal, I mainly want to be like among artists and make my own series. My second is becoming an EDM disc jockey. Therefore, mm -hmm. when I get big, or if I get big, and make my own music videos, they'll still lead into graphic design where I could create my own stuff. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. Anybody else? Yeah? No, I want to be a firefighter. Firefighter. All right. All right. Terrific. Yeah? I want to be a social, social worker. Terrific. Who else? Yeah? <clears throat> I also want to be um, a music producer. Music producer. Yeah, All right. Excellent. Yeah. I want to be either a nurse or work with sports medicine. Excellent. Excellent. Anyone else? Yeah. Um, I would like to be a pediatrician. All right, a pediatrician. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to skip you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I have lots of things I want. To, I have lots of things I want to do. Like I want to be a, a artist, a visual artist. And a dancer. All right. So you can dance? You got talent, man? <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Um, I want to be an OBGYN uh -huh. or a professional volleyball player. Excellent. Excellent. All right. We haven't heard anybody say they want to be the mayor or in government. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. We're just assuming that. All yeah, right. right. Do that. Um, well, uh, <laughs> Whatever it is that uh, that you want to be, whatever your dream is, um, you have to know that you have a whole community here that really believes in you, uh, and that this Connect Home initiative is part of giving you the tools to go as far as you possibly can. So we're excited to be here today, and we're going to get uh, started, um, I believe, with a, a question that we have from the audience. Yeah. Okay. I grew up in Casey, and I plan to attend college to study social work. I'm fortunate to have a computer at home, but a lot of my peers and friends who live in Casey do not. We can go to top floor after school until 6, but often we need technology access after that. What resources can your office provide to help us access technology to go to college and continue to be successful? Yeah, and thank you so much for the question. What's your name again? My name's Precious. Precious. Thank you, Precious, for the question. Um, you know, we've, we're proud of Connect Home because we think that the number one thing we can do to ensure that, that uh, students have meaningful broadband access <coughs> is to ensure that they have either a laptop or a desktop or a tablet so that they have a chance to do their homework effectively. Uh, connect to the internet and get information that they need. Um, and Connect Home is all about making that access possible with a whole series of partners um, that are represented here today and then also getting those devices into the hands of our young people. And so um, it's those two components. And then the third is, and I think maybe this is the most important, layering that on with other information and opportunity. For instance, the College Board is a part of this, this partnership um, to give folks information about admissions and financial aid uh, and help them get through the application and admission process uh, or financial aid process for college. Um, we have PBS that's involved that's giving some of their learning materials to the effort for young kids especially. So all along the line from young kids to folks like yourselves that are young adults, right, about to be adults, we want to equip you both with the access to, te to technology and information to empower you to reach your dreams. All right? All right. Uh, 
Yes, um, we have folks uh, with us from Fresno and from Newark, and I think we want to go to Newark first. Okay. Hi. Hello. How are you? Doing great. How are y'all doing? Good. 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 Secretary uh, Castro, from one identical twin to another identical twin, I want to say welcome to Newark, New Jersey, Eastside High School. Uh, it's great to be with y'all. Um, Hello, Eastside. Hey. Just I real quick. It, it's probably a little bit colder over there. It is. It's, 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 it's a lot colder. Yeah. Um, the Welcome to Eastside High School. We just want to say real quickly that uh, we are very proud to be part of this initiative. Uh, Eastside High School is very proud to be part of uh, the Big Picture, a Big Picture School. We also here at Eastside High School have a big initiative. We want to thank the federal government for the Title I funds because every classroom at Eastside High School has a smart port. We are on our way to being a one-to-one -one, uh, school. We have, we're halfway there uh, in terms of having every student have a Chromebook. And of course, this, this initiative here will just, uh, once again, bring us into the 21st century. And we want to thank you, Secretary, for helping us out with that. No, oh, absolutely. Um, we're happy to hear that and um, thrilled that y'all could be with us today. And we're excited about this initiative um, because we know that our young people, including uh, the students that uh, that are with us today from East Side have big dreams, uh, and that when we can put information and the technology that they need at their fingertips, then we can help make those dreams come true. Um, and uh, so, I want to thank you all for being a part of it today. Thank you. Now, I think we have another uh, question from. Or we have a question from one of the students at yeah. Newark. Yeah. We have. Yeah. From me. You want to ask yours? Yeah. Oh, you want to ask yours? Yeah. Okay. My question for you is: How will this roll out? What will the infrastructure look like? Yeah. Thanks a lot for the question. Um, so there are 28 communities that are part of Connect Home. Um, there's one tribal community in 27 cities, and. Uh, at the end of the day, the result that we want is we want all of our public housing communities in these, in these cities to be connected to broadband. Um, and so that started with a, sort of, uh, a series of convenings that each of those communities has, have had with all of the partners involved to get them together and come up with a plan, a blueprint for making connectivity possible. And at the end of the day, we believe that because of Connect Home, uh, they're going to be about 200,000 young people that have an opportunity to connect to the internet that aren't connected now. Um, and my hope is that um, because of that, our youngest kids are going to do better on those third grade math and reading tests that y'all remember you had to take a long time ago. And then they're going to be more likely to do well and graduate from high school and then go on from there and either go to college or get technical training, or in some other way, be able to accomplish their dreams. Um, but I've been very happy with the rollout so far because all of the communities have already had their convenings, they've put together their plans, and implementation is beginning early this year, in 2016, and it's going to start to ramp up in terms of the actual connectivity for folks, and that's what we want to see. And uh, I want to commend Newark for the work that's happening there as well as a Connect Home community. We're excited about it, and uh, I hope one of these days to be able to make it out there. All right. And now we're going to go to Fresno, who we also have with us. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, oh, morning Secretary yeah. Castro. Yeah. Good morning, Secretary Castro, Mayor Barry, fellow colleagues and students. My name is Felicia Quarles Treadwell and I'm known as Mrs. QT. We are happy to greet you and grateful that you desire to hear and honor our voices here at Fre in Fresno, California. We also want to sincerely thank you and President Obama for the opportunity given to Fresno to participate in Connect Home. Um, this is Gaston's second year of existence. Three of the five students here on this panel are the part of the very first student body and um, able to receive education in this multi-million dollar facility. Uh, this is a high poverty area and rich in pride and culture. Um, here at Gaston, we do have access to 3D devices, uh, gaming classes, 
one-to-one -one devices in our science classes in a computer lab. So we're very rich uh, with technology. And um, I have Jamiana, Elliot, Seekin, Daniel, and Gabriel. Elliot, I have a question for you. Yes. yes, thank you. My question is, will you have a program available to access laptops and home computers because we cannot take devices from school to our homes? Yeah, you know, this is, um, this is one of the common uh, challenges that we hear and that we've heard here today. A lot of young people who might have access to the internet or have access to a device uh, at their school or at a library um, or a rec center, but when they go home, they don't have any access. Uh, and and the, the administration, the president, led an effort called Connect Ed to connect all of America's schools to broadband. And so Connect Home is really the answer to how do we get that connectivity to follow a student home. So uh, the answer to that is yes. In fact, um, one of the things that we're working feverishly on right now is ensuring that we have more devices to get out to young people. And uh, the partner organizations like everyone on are organizing an effort uh, to get contributions of devices into the hands of young people who are in our public housing communities in Connect Home Cities. Uh, and, and we think that that's going to help folks be able to do their homework uh, in a sharper way uh, and to access the internet so that they can fill out that college application because these days something like 90 percent of colleges actually prefer or require for students to fill out their application online. The same thing goes for folks who are in the working world. I know how many of y'all work? All right, some folks here work. And then older residents of public housing as well, working age residents, uh, a, a decent number of companies today won't take your application, uh, at least preliminarily on paper, they want it online. And so we are working on getting more and more devices and, uh, and that's going to help folks you know, who are young all the way to, to working age and elderly residents of these public housing communities. All right. Now, I asked Newark about the cold. I imagine it's a little warmer in Fresno? Yes, a little warmer. A little warmer. Morning. Expect nothing less from California. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, we you. really appreciate your participation. And uh, I've heard great things about the work that's happening there in Fresno and the local leadership uh, with the mayor and others. And look forward, hopefully, to getting out there. Thank you. Okay, and so I think we have a second question here in the audience. Um, yes, um, hi, my name is Ashan, and I've been living in KC for pretty much all my life. And as I said, my future goal is to become a graphic designer. And I work here at school, and I take a class called Computer Tech Information, where we work on like making things on a PC, like app development and other softwares. But during after school, I come to top floor and with we have anime club, so I work, pursued my goal of becoming a graphic designer there. But fortunately, when I go home, my goal in pursuing to become a graphic designer is postponed because I don't have any sources or any internet access to proceed this. Um, and my question is, how can your crew or your team help kids like me work on pursuing our goals and proceeding what we want to do? Yeah, uh, tell me a little bit about your interest in, in graphic design. So you said you work on what type of graphic design? Um, anime? I really work on anime. Besides that, if I want to change it, I either I do anime or make my own anime game. Uh, and how did you get interested in that? Basically, I was introduced into anime from my mother, huh? and I learned through my family, anime has been a real big part of it, so I've grown into it, and I figured out my talent in drawing, so I decided why not give it a shot. And is there a particular software program also that, that is helpful for um, that, or is it still all by hand? Or I mainly draw it? by my hand, uh -huh. sure. so my strongest skill is by my hand. I don't know any softwares or anything to use. Not yet. I'm still working on it. Yeah. 
but hopefully in the future I could do that. Yeah, so you know, part of the idea here is just to open up uh, at home that world of possibility with the internet, and um, and I think to give through connectivity um, students like you more time during the evening and at home on weekends for you to to um, engage in developing your talent. I mean, I think about all of the time growing up myself being at home on the weekends um, and when I was growing up uh, you know in, and I was in high school we didn't have a computer at home uh, and all of the time that I could have been sp spending back then of course we also didn't have the internet in 1991 or 1992 I'm old y'all all right y'all y'all make me feel old but you think about all the time that you could be spending uh, in the evenings and in the weekends sharpening that talent and engaging in it and learning more if you had access at home and so um, that's really what this initiative Connect Home is about that connectivity and also those devices so that you can do that uh, and um, time after time when you you know any of y'all watch the the awards the other day the Golden Globe Awards alright or you watch um, any other like sports award shows or you look at inter you listen to interviews of people that have really made it yeah documentaries or the number one thing that, that people say who have made it in whatever field it is if they're um, in politics or they're a journalist or they're um, an artist or whatever is that they say they had a passion for something and you clearly have a passion and we want to do everything that we can to support that and that includes making sure that you can engage in that because you're connected at home that's what this is about okay. all right okay um, well first of all uh, I want to thank y'all again for having us here and I want to congratulate y'all for the success that y'all have already had in school uh, and how many of y'all are seniors here all right. Who's a junior? Is anybody a sophomore? We have any lowly freshmen? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, Y'all are, of course, at a very special and a very critical time in your lives, uh, and an exciting time. And the next few years are um, going to determine a lot about your path and I've been very impressed by what I've heard in terms of the work here at the school and with top floor to ensure that you're able to do well here and that you're able to reach your dreams and what I hope what we all hope and what the president wants is to do everything that we can on our end and with our partners here as part of Connect Home to make sure that you have that chance and connecting you to the internet is one way to do that. So thank you all for having us here. And uh, good luck. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.